an armada of refuse trucks roll out to clear away our garbage. Noisy, rumbling trucks that guzzle up diesel when idling right outside our bedroom windows. Until now. Here it is, the world's first hybrid refuse truck in operation. And it's quiet. All the people know that big trucks is very noisy and then we come on the street and we can't hear Hear the truck, just see it. He has emptied refuse bins for 20 years. Now he drives the first hybrid refuse truck in the world. Volvo's new hybrid truck combines a diesel engine with an electric motor. At low speeds and when stationary, it's the electric motor that supplies the power. Not until the truck reaches a speed of 20 kilometers an hour does the diesel engine cut in. And then I press the pedal down, the engine starts. The braking power is used to recharge the battery. That's why a hybrid is the optimum vehicle for refuse collection. We stop very many times and the refuse trucks stand still about 70% per day when they're loading and compacting and collecting the waste. That the diesel engine turns off is clearly a major saving for the refuse collection company and a clear advantage for the environment. But the electric hybrid also provides a better working environment for refuse collectors. It's very uh, much better for the people around the vehicle too, with a low noise and uh, no emission. Out. Of course we have seen private cars with the hybrid technique. But to design something that functions day in and day out, for the industrial transport sector makes completely different demands of power and durability. Uh, a car is approximately 1,500 kilos or something like this. This is 26,000 kilos. And hidden under here is the actual technology, a battery of the same lithium-ion type as used in a mobile phone, but considerably bigger. In, in weight it's about 200 kilos, and uh, in size like this, the motor industry calculates that technical developments reduce fuel consumption by, on average, 1% per year. We need to use the fuel that we have today in a much more efficient way. With the hybrid technique in operation, this will achieve a single fuel-reducing stride that corresponds to between 20 and 30 years' developments. It will save between 20 to 30% fuel and thereby also save and reduce uh, CO2 emissions. The refuse truck is just the beginning, and we see in the future we will also be using hybrid technology for long hauls and other kinds of applications.